one of our patrons asked us to put some content out about living a healthier lifestyle. And we don't say this, we don't mock people's diet at the doctor patient forum, but uh, as you folks know, I do compete in fitness competitions. I am not competing on November, 8th, November 18th, but I will be competing in 2024. I had to change my diet, obviously, to compete. And when I met Bev, Bev was about 100 pounds heavier than you are today. I basically just gave Bev some really simple tips and they stuck with you. And yeah. we, we hope that these tips that we offer you folks today we're just going to give you a few. And, you know, if you're interested in learning more, make sure you sign up for the warrior membership. If you're yep. already a warrior, schedule your coaching call with me today. We're going to start ba baby steps to grow yep. into something that's sustainable because yep. that's the whole problem with, with uh, people when they think of diet, they're not living a sustainable lifestyle. And that's what we yeah. like, try, try to teach you. I'm the least credentialed advocate. <laughs> Okay, so before people ask me what your credentials are, I am the least credentialed advocate yeah. in the United States. But you know what? The most experienced because you know what it's like to be sick and in a hospital bed and you know what it's like to change your diet and have it help your your health. And I, I feel like I need to say this every time and because I don't want people to think we're blaming them. Because, you know, I understand why they feel that way because doctors, especially nowadays, will be like, well, if you just lost weight, your health would be fine. And that's not... That's not what we're saying. But the the biggest thing I got out of losing weight is I lost that mom guilt. Because now mm -hmm. when I do everything I know I can do, every single thing I can do to help myself and I still get sick, then I'm like, you know, there's nothing I could have done. Uh, but I used to feel so guilty thinking, well, what if I had done this? Maybe, and maybe if I had done it, nothing would have changed. But at least I don't have that guilt anymore, you know? Yeah, right, right. So do you want to show you gave a speech? When was this fitness competition? Yeah. So one year ago, I competed. The promoter of the show wanted me to just discuss why I was there competing in the transformation category. See and that's what this speech okay. is. What was the reason for this journey? What was the reason for this? So I lived in a hospital bed for many years with a debilitating form of Crohn's disease. And I unfortunately had to get a colostomy bag. And while I was at the hospital many times, I wasn't always treated with the compassion that I deserved. Eventually, I had my colostomy bag reversed, and that's where my fitness journey started. Uh, and because of my fitness journey today, I'm the founder of the largest pain organization in the country. And tonight, I compete to bring awareness to people who have taken their lives due to untreated pain. And none of this would be uh, accomplished without my fitness journey. Oh, that's nice. I never saw that. Aww. Look at that, oh. Claudia. It's so nice. Yeah, that's emotional. Wow. That's really emotional. Oh, I hate that part of it. Look at oh, your mom. Cringe. Look at your mom. I know. Look at your mama. Look, she's so proud. Some advice you would give them to start this kind of journey. Dig down deep. Because you have to dig down deep to accomplish what you need to accomplish. And preparing for a show like this is a full-time job. This is hard work. And I wanted to compete for my 54th birthday. That's nice. Huh. Uh, my, my biggest advocate is my mom. She's 87. Woo! And my biggest advice is that I will not say these young, beautiful women never take no for an answer. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Most importantly, be the squeaky wheel because the squeaky wheel gets yes, the grease. That's kind of corny. Oh, it's cute. I, my favorite yeah. part of the whole thing is your mama. Seeing her, like your mom, I seeing know. her like scoot over and get from the center to listen. So that's cute. A great, that's a great yeah. little, that's a great video. That was probably my best competition because yeah. I was in it. I was yeah. so in it because it was the last, it was before Ava was going to I college. Know. And I didn't have the mindset to compete November, but I'll be back June, 2024. And what we want 
Well, we're not going to be on here long, but if you're interested in making some lifestyle changes, right? First, I want you to think about why you want to lose weight, right? Just think, why do you want to lose weight? You're not going to feel worse losing weight. Nobody ever does, especially if you're an extra That's 100, right. 200 yep. pounds, right? Uh, and some people that I've gotten on the phone with, they are over 300 pounds. They're only 5'2". They have terrible, terrible pain. And you are going to feel better after you lose yep. weight, but it's not going to, it's, we're not saying this is going to cure you or, you know, change all of your pain syndromes, but it's going to help. And I've never met one person who said, oh my God, I wish I didn't work yeah, out and today. Then, Claudia, I do want to say for me, my mindset, like I, I remember you said, you got to just get out of bed. You, that's got to be step one. Cause I would take my kids to school. I would come home and I would sleep and then I would pick them up and I would come yeah. home and I would sleep. And you were like, just get out of bed. That's yeah. all you want to do today is get out of bed. And so in my mind, that was yeah. it. I said, Bev, you only have one yeah. goal. Your goal today, get yeah, out of and bed. So for me, losing weight wasn't even my goal. Like what I had to do is make little changes. Um, we're, we're losing weight ended up as the end result more so than anything else. Like getting out of bed, just walking, getting a dog helped me a lot. Cause I had to walk him drinking water, just little changes. So it's not even like, you know, I lost, right. I did lose close to a hundred pounds. And so for me, it wasn't like, Oh, I got to lose all this weight. I just, I wanted to feel stronger. I wanted to feel healthier mentally, physically, emotionally for my children. Um, and so it was just little steps and it's not even like losing weight was the ultimate goal. It was more of the end result for me, I think, you know, mm -hmm. if you're already a patron, if you um, are a monthly patron, you can upgrade to annual for this month until the day after Thanksgiving, you get a 15% upfront discount. Um, if you want to upgrade to Warrior, if you do annual for Warrior, you can have all four of your calls all together if you want to, it, only if you're an annual member. So take advantage of this discount. And I love talking to people about different little changes they can make because I feel like it's something I could do. For, I can't get everyone's medicine back right now, but I can help them learn right. how to feel a little bit better, you know? I, co I think Lynetta, Lynetta, I love you. You're amazing if you're watching this. And she was one of the first she people was our I first coached. Patron. Right? I think she was the very first person yeah. to sign on to Patreon, I think. She's a warrior, she's like, right? She's just wonderful, yeah, yeah, wonderful, she was the first wonderful one. person. She's our very first patron. And I said, we're going to just make one change for two weeks. We're only going to make one change. And the one change is we're only going to drink water. We're not going to drink alcohol. We're not going to drink soda. We're not going to drink anything with the exception of tea, uh, coffee, or water. That's it. But that was the only change you have to make. You're not going to Dunkin' Donuts anymore and getting the extra large frothy yeah. fattening drink. You're not drinking high C or lemonade. Those days are done for two weeks. That's all you're going to do. Start small. To this day, to this day, I drink between yeah. one and two of yeah. these a day. But it, and it, it's changed my life with yeah. kidney stones. That's the, just start small. One change and the next change for me is just for me. I don't eat bread. I don't eat pasta. And I'm 100% Don't give away all your secrets because then they won't want to sign up. Right, right. <laughs> just kidding. Right. But for me, those yeah. were the only and everyone's changes different. that everyone's I made. Everyone's bodies are different, but there's... And you can. Yes, you can eat bread yeah. and you can eat pasta. But for me, my Crohn's yeah. disease everyone's felt different. much yeah. better. Everyone yeah. is different. Everyone's different. Some people feel better cutting out all dairy. Some people right. feel better so cutting out all gluten. Mm -hmm. But I do know that 100% of everybody would benefit from just drinking water or at least drinking a gallon of water a day. Like I know the minimum you're supposed to do half of your body weight in ounces. So if you're 150 oh. pounds, then you should have 75 mm -hmm. ounces, which is like two thirds of a gallon. So between a half a gallon and a gallon, depending on your size, you can't go wrong with drinking a gallon of water a day, four bottles of lose. water, four bottles of water, eight glasses. And listen, like we just had Halloween. And what if you ate a, like yeah. a lot of candy? Well, the next day you get back on and you just start drinking your water. I mean, I love sugar. And if I could eliminate sugar, that would be my my major goal for 2024 is to reduce my sugar intake. Very, very difficult for me because I love sugar. But on the coaching call, we're going to sit down with, you know, I'm just yep. going to give you some tips how I think how I think I can help you. Uh, but thank you, folks, for supporting our Patreon subscription page. And we look forward to hearing from Bye. you soon. Thank you, guys.